that China has reacted on Foreign Affairs Minister S. J. Shankar's statement supporting the Philippines when it comes to the dispute in the South China Sea. Now, China has said that maritime disputes are issues between the countries concerned. Third parties have no right to interfere whatsoever. We urge relevant parties to face squarely the facts and truth on the South China Sea issue and respect China's territorial sovereignty and maritime rights and interests and the efforts of regional countries to keep the South China Sea peaceful and stable. So a very diplomatic language coming in from China, which is a part of China's script, Abhishek, at the same time, uh, S.J. Shankar's endorsement of the Philippine stand ruffling feathers in Beijing. Well, uh, 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 S.J. Shankar was in Philippines and then he was having some uh, crucial meeting and during the press conference only he supported Philippines' stand on South China Sea and how the two countries have been and they uh, foresee a collaboration in terms of keeping the South China Sea free for navigation for all uh, free and independent and uh, th there should be uh, no dominance from a particular uh, a particular country, especially uh, there was no direct reference to China in that context, but we know that Philippines has been in the last several days have been dealing with the aggressive Chinese militia forces on Chinese coast guard ships, which have been continuously attacking Philippines' own uh, vessels in the, in the in the maritime boundary, which Philippines calls its own, and Chinese dominance uh, Chinese wake vessels have been pushing them away from their own uh, sovereign zone. Uh, so when China side calls out uh, Indian National First Minister for uh, trying to interfere in somebody else's sovereign matter, uh, the point is that China, Chinese uh, ships have already been interfering in the sovereign water of Philippines, and the issue has been duly raised by the uh, Philippines authority, Philippines government, and they have lost the strongest protest also with the Chinese authority. So the question of China saying that the issue was uh, of, of sovereignty doesn't hold ground here. And of course, India has been a key developmental and de uh, defense partner with Philippines uh, for a long time. And recently, we have seen multiple uh, high, uh, you know, high-stake defense deals also happening with China. And that has obviously ached China, uh, ached China uh, because of India-Philippines closer defense deals. And these are the backgrounds in in which Chinese uh, commentary should be seen. Uh, the latest commentary, which is uh, trying to criticize uh, Shankar's comment uh, while being in Philippines. Right, but at the same time, uh, Abhishek, when it comes to the power plays coming in in uh, the Asian region, if you look at the overtures that China has made to the Maldives, over which uh, ties have been strained between the Maldives and India, but India at the same time uh, playing its own power game when it comes to Chinese influence in the region, uh, be it Taiwan, be it the Philippines, and even the push via the Quad nations to put some pressure on China when it comes to its expansionist policies in the South China Sea. Well, uh, here comes Aishman, the, 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 the real nuances of democratic values which, uh, with which India wants to operate and India wants to play by the rule book. While Chinese side have been trying to flex their muscle both in terms of economic prowess that they have been able to create over the period of last two decades at least in the region. And of course, the military uh, you know, development and the uh, indigenous industry they have created over the last two decades. And now they are trying to encash those uh, development of last 20 years in terms of uh, hegemonizing the area, in terms of dominating the area, both maritime. Uh, you you talk about the territorial boundary dispute with India. We talk you we talk about the dispute with Japan in Senkaku Island and all the Philippines, Indonesia, Vietnam, or other coastline countries which share uh, some sort of boundary uh, sea boundary with China. So all these countries have been troubled by the Chinese aggression in the recent years, and this is what China has tried to posture as an upcoming power in the region uh, while India continues to challenge uh, the dominance of China and probably India is the only country in this region which can challenge Chinese uh, authority or Chinese dominance in the region. Right. Thank you, Abhishek, for getting us the latest. Please